In this video, we'll show you how to prepare your Personio account to receive your employee's data before importing it using Excel Sheet. Before you can use Personio, you need to populate it with your employee's data. Doing this will store important employee data using custom sections and attributes, create one place for all employee data so everyone can find it, keep your data up to date, and allow employees to update some parts of it themselves. Step 1. Set up sections and attributes in Personio. Every employee profile is divided into sections, such as personal data, HR or payroll information, bank details, and so on. Each of these sections contains attributes such as employment type, weekly working hours, and so on. To create your sections and attributes, go to Settings, People, Employee Information. The most commonly used sections and attributes are predefined, but you can add custom sections and custom attributes to meet your needs. You can create any new sections that you need here, rename any non-preset ones to suit your needs better, but you can't delete or rename any preset sections. With attributes, the same is true, but you can drag and drop attributes up and down or into a different section. If you want to hide any preset attributes, you can move them to a new section, which won't be public by default. Later on, you can also set which sections employees can see and which are hidden. When you click Add an Attribute, you have to choose a type for it. This defines what type of data can be entered for it, such as general for text, emails or phone numbers, numbers, dates, and longer text comments in a multi-line text field. List of options lets you define a list of things to choose from, such as for a yes-no question or a model of company car. The tags attribute type is the same, but it allows multiple answers to be chosen. You should create your sections and attributes in the language set for your company, and then provide translations to display in accounts that are in other languages. Step 2. Fill in the Excel sheet. Once you've prepared your account to receive data, you should download the Excel template into which you will enter your employee's information. Each row is one employee, and yellow columns must be filled in as they contain the most important information. The email is used as a unique identifier for each person and is prioritized in all imports over other identifiers, so it must be filled in. If you added your own attributes in Personio, you can add columns for them. But check that they are spelled and capitalized in exactly the same way. If you renamed some pre-existing attributes or updated any list of options or tags in Personio, you'll also need to ensure that the spelling is the same in the import document. Enter your employee data into the sheet and save your Excel file when you're finished. So once you've imported this basic information, you can add to it in future using the same process, but you don't need to add all this information again. As long as your new import contains the email for each employee, any new attributes you add will be added for them and won't overwrite anything. Step 3. Import employee data. Once your Excel sheet is ready, you can upload it into Personio. To do this, go to Imports, select Employee Bulk Upload, and select your file. Next, Assign the columns in your Excel file to the correct attributes in Personio. If you see any errors, cancel the import and resolve them in the Excel sheet itself. If your import file is formatted incorrectly, a warning box will appear. Click Download Revision File to download an Excel file with the columns or fields containing errors highlighted. Correct these and restart the import. Step 4. Common Errors When Importing If you're experiencing issues while importing your document, check the following information. So 1. While performing your import, if you can't select an attribute in the Configure Column tab, make sure that you have already added it to Personio. 2. Also, you can only assign Personio attributes to one attribute from the Excel file. 3. If you have any list of options or tags attributes, Make sure the options defined in the Excel sheet exactly match the ones you defined in Personio. 4. Make sure no employee is their own supervisor. 
or that two employees are each other's supervisor. For the CEO or CTO who has no supervisor, you can leave that field blank. Congratulations, you've successfully imported your employees' data into Personio.